Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Earthrise or Netflix Bumblebee. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, one on vinyl, one on foil, and one on white. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Bumblebee, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Bumblebee is a little plain. He's just yellow and black, as Bumblebee should be. Paint applications include these blue eyes. And down here, he's got silver headlights and a black bumper. There's also a Tampagraphed Autobot logo. This Autobot logo right here is a Toy Hacks decal that I added to kind of break him up because originally he was just all yellow and he really needed something as you can see also he's got translucent windows all around the chest and some silver right there for the wipers and that's pretty much it for bumblebee in robot mode here is also his weapon which is kind of a silver chrome with a black back piece and i'm showing this because there are toy hex decals that's going to help enhance this weapon as well so there you go, guys. One final look at Bumblebee in robot mode before and after. Bumblebee gets a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. And the first ones you're probably noticing are the new window decals. But we're going to go over those more in vehicle mode. Bumblebee also gets brand new eye decals that really make his eyes pop now. Those are so much fun to put in but very well worth it. Here on the shoulder, he gets new gray decals. Down here on the forearms, little blue decals. Down here on the belt buckle, he gets a blue decal. And down here on the feet, he gets chrome decals that go over the headlights. Also, a hidden Easter egg, if you will. If you flip down the chest, he's got a decal that homages the original Generation 1 Bumblebee artwork. So I really like that. That is cool. So that pretty much takes care of Bumblebee. Now his weapon gets new decals right here on the bipod. So when you separate that into the pistols, it makes it look like that is maybe a clip with some energy bolts. And the rear of the weapon now has this yellow and black decal that's supposed to represent a Energon rod container. So you take this pop it in Bumblebee's hand, swing it up over his shoulder, and it it's to make it look like the very first episode of the G1 cartoon where Bumblebee is stealing the energy rods, and I think that's awesome. So there you go, guys. One final look at Bumblebee after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Bumblebee actually looks awesome. He's got great paint applications right there. You can see the silver rims the black bumper, the silver headlights, silver details right there on the windshield wiper. He's got a Tampagraphed Autobot logo there on the hood, painted door handles, which is, I think, a first in a mainline Transformer figure in a long time. Back of the vehicle, he's got painted in taillights, a black bumper on the back, and tinted clear windows. Not a big fan of those because you can see all the robot junk there on the inside. He also has a painted VW logo right there on the hood. I love the looks of this bug mode and I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. 
So there you go, guys. One final look at Bumblebee in vehicle mode before and after. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the brand new window decals. And I love those. Anything that covers up clear plastic gets an okay in my book. Now I noticed Toy Hacks is really starting to get away from the cell shaded look to a more realistic window and it works. I really like that and I have to commend them for being able to cut that decal over the windshield wipers. That is really, really cool. He also gets new decals here on the headlights that kind of give it a blue tint. And what's really cool is for the wheels, if you pop the wheel off, Bumblebee now gets rotors. So that is really cool. You can actually see those through the wheel there. Now on the back wheel, pop one of these off. He gets a rotor and shocks. So that is really, really cool. You do have to pay attention though and make sure you get the right rotor on the right wheel or the right area because there is front and back. On the back of the vehicle, he gets a brand new license plate. I picked B127. You do have some options. You have, let's see if I can get turned around here. Penny Racer and Bzzz. And I went with B127 and he gets an I Love New York bumper sticker. And let's see, one more. Right here, he gets a decal to give him a mirrored mirror, a mirrored side mirror. So Bumblebee looks really cool now in vehicle mode. A lot of little details that add a lot to this vehicle. So there you go, guys. One final look at Bumblebee in vehicle mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for War for Cybertron Bumblebee is a simple decal set, but one that really adds a lot of character to this figure. I especially love the window decals. They make Bumblebee pop both in robot and vehicle mode. I also like the hidden throwback to the original Generation 1 box art. The smaller details like the bumper stickers and license plate also really add to this figure. Now one thing I don't understand is why they didn't include an optional Autobot logo to put on the chest. As I said in the intro, I had a spare and that's what I used, but they didn't include one with this set. So. Hopefully you have one and you can do what I did with mine. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!